Bacha Spada Mandala Badosha Badushe Keya Rebeko Sataria Babush Mandali Baba Kusataya Kila Madush Kala Madushaya Roboko Satayina Namako Sataya Roboko Sekelebeaya Robo Shabana Makutaya Roboko Senelebeko Robo Kotaria Badushkaya Tongs of Fire God Didio Saku Roboko Sakatalabakusikaya Roboko Sekeneleboko Saya Roboko Sikaya Baba Mandoroboko Shaya in Jesus prophetic name Amen. Amen.
God bless you. Welcome to the Lion of Judah Prophetic Worship Center. This is the first night of our two nights of fire, where we're employing the heavenly courts, the heavenly tribunal, the ministry of angels to come and help us to fight the battles. Are you there, saints? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you tell God aloud our uh, amen? Thank you, Daddy, amen. for giving me amen. Amen. the you, opportunity to come back once again back. into Thank your you, prevail- privileged presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost begin to move on this line. Let him, let he begin to brew over us. We are nothing on our own. We are just dust. So we are not here for a common experience of a common encounter. Are you there? We can leave our home, the confine of our bed to come on this line just to make noise. We need an encounter with the Lord tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we worship Him right now? Can we lift our voices? May the Holy Ghost have pleasure in our worship tonight. Holy Ghost and Just move over your dry bones. Move over me one more time. Move over me. Spirit, move over me. Won't you let me sing? Oh, 
God rely on strong in your presence. Oh Lord, my God, in your presence, that's where I belong, seeking your face, touching your grace, in the cleft of the in your presence, oh God, I want to go where the rivers cannot overflow me, where I'm covered by the rock, yeah, I
and experiences. Whether you're tuning in for the first time or you're walking through the hustle and bustle of the city and tri-state era, or you're just from the street or different scenery or countryside or landscape, we are delighted to have you here with us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, mm-hmm. there are going to be a move of the Holy Ghost as we thrive mm-hmm. to bring you heaven best. This is not entertainment. This is encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ, one encounter mm-hmm. can bring a reformation and a transformation. Mm-hmm. You can ask Apostle Paul, Saul, mm-hmm. when he was on his way to Damascus to mm-hmm. persecute the Christian. Mm-hmm. One encounter turned him into a God man. One encounter with the woman at the well turn her into an evangelist. And the list goes on of those that have encounter and not entertainment. Are you there? So sit back and relax. And emerge yourself into this rad- radical ram shifting program. I hope you will, hallelujah, you will let yourself, hallelujah, down so the Lord can meet you at the point of need in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, What is the team tonight? What is the team tonight? Before we go into the team, I would like to acknowledge. Pastor Christian, Mr. and Mrs. Christian, that are they are here tonight. Hallelujah! My personal, private prayer intercessory team. They are here tonight to break the yoke through the anointing. Uh, Pastor Emmanuel Adeboyo is here also to break yoke. It's one spirit. We are not here for the entertainment. Are you there? In the name of Jesus Christ. Days of entertainment is over. Hallelujah. The hour is upon us. Whether you want to fight or not, you got to fight or become a casualty. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the team tonight? The team tonight. The team tonight. Every evil altar that has been summoned to kill me before my time. Your time has expired. By the power and the royal decree of the watchers, we for this gathering. For your word said, the gathering of your people is not unto any man, but unto you shall the gathering of your people be. Lord, we pray, you stand in your word. We are so about two or three shall gather in your presence. They are in to be in their presence. Lord, we decree that Lord, your presence make a difference in our meeting this night. We speak to the elders yes, over God. this Hallelujah. meeting. Hear the word of the Lord. Yes, God. Open by fire. Open for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. In the name Lord, I pray of Jesus. For everyone who lies this hour, the Lord you will encounter us. That we shall not go God. back the way we have God. come tonight. The Lord. You will do that which no man can do in the life of everyone here. Your only thing 
They are on the flip side. The occultic altar is here to destroy, to kill, to steal. Are you there? Amen. I believe the Bible did not say in vain that my children suffer because of a lack of knowledge. I believe these altars are causing us all to be destroyed mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, relationally. We are suffering unnecessarily because of a lack of knowledge. Also, the understanding that knowledge and wisdom is how to apply our effectual servant life so that it can avail much. There are many altars that surround us. An altar of earth, the Bible says in Exodus 20 24, an altar of earth you shall make for me and sacrifice on it your burnt offering and your peace offering, your sheep offering, and oxen. In every place where I cause my name to be remembered, and I will come to you and bless you. That is a godly altar in operation. Hallelujah. And God says, as you obey me, as you obey me and build that altar, then I will come down and bless you. But do you feel there is something invisible barring you? Between you, your health, your success, your peace of mind, it is something invisible, something supernatural that is all in you. Yes, we are. Do you feel like your destiny is always just out of your reach? Yes, no. No matter how much fasting, how much prayer, how much consecration, how much showing of seed, are you ever feeling? within yourself how can I obtain this phenomenon destiny that so much people have prophesied to me about is your destiny like something that is rewriting is your destiny refused to allow you to move forward do you feel like you're having a breakdown instead of a breakthrough are you always been is your life full of frustration, barrenness, fruitlessness, accidents, incidents, proclivities, captivities, in the name of Jesus? Are you there? Hallelujah! 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 Are you seeing people that started after you and they're getting the breakthrough of your life? But for you, nothing is going good. Amen. Are you always on the war front? Fearful dreams, strange dark powers in your dream realm, strange dark places, hallelujah, in your dream realm. Are you feeling like you're a victim of something supernatural that you cannot explain? Well, beloved, in some instant, there is an altar that is controlling, that is afflicting, that is truncating, that is arresting destiny. Some altars stem from your ancestors, some altars stand from your environment, some altars stand from a witchcraft cauldron that is an assignment to kill you. Are you there? When you are under attack by demonic altars, they form a 
invisible bodies, and supernatural forces hiding in the shadows, creating havoc and ruinous for your life. Are you there? Amen, amen, amen. I want you. I The Bible says in Proverbs 20, verse 20, you are a place. The altar in front of the veil and a human between an idol or a human an altar is a place a meeting place it is a place of spiritual trafficking it is a place of importation it is a place of trading are you there in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I'm a believer. The hour has come, and now is when God is not just speaking about the Mosaic altar, the Noahic altar, the Gideonic altar, the Davidic altar, the Samuelic altar, the altar of Joshua. Hallelujah! But we are in this end time from wicked altars that are destroying the lives of many people, driving people to untimely grave. Are you there? Makabosha, Redimosha, Hallelujah! Many of us on this line are being harassed by the ritualistic chambers of darkness. are being made to kill, to destroy us. Let us go deeper. you put your hand on your phone and say, My father. My father, my father, and the altar up on the top of my head. And it's trying to kill me and to form invisible structures and barriers. Let it scatter and matter. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So we're going to ask the Lord. One more prayer point. Can you remove the diabolical altars on my head? Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, can you remove Lord, can you remove the diabolical focus on my head? So we're going into deep theological teaching right now. Mm. According to the British English Dictionary, an altar is a table of flat top block use as a focal force of rigorous rituals, especially making sacrifices or offering to a deity. So we get to recognize that an altar is not only a meeting place, but an altar is a place where rigorous ritualistic sacrifice is made to a deity, to an entity, to a god, to a goddess. Are you there? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So according to the Bible, strong... Hebrew lexicon an interpretation of altar is as followed. Altars were only place only places set up by Noah and King Solomon. There were various altars. There were altars of burnt offering Exodus thirty twenty eight. The brazen altar where is in the altar court, Exodus 39, 39. Then the altar of incense and the golden altar. And you have all these altars because my God is a God of altars. Hallelujah. 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 
altars. Replicate and duplicate godly altars. Hallelujah. Amen. In First Kings seven verse forty eight, there was an altar of an idol there. In ancient world, altars were raised platforms, usually made of dirt, stone, and carved rocks, especially some kind of articles and fixtures of some of, of some fundamental values. Hallelujah. But God began to say to me, tell my people, now is the time when altars are versus, you have altar versus altar. My God, in oh, no. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're not ready to brandish the altar of God, you will become a casualty in the battlefield of life. You will become a statistic because some of you fast Amen. For Hallelujah. in the beginning was the word and 
the waters yes, with yes. God and yes, the waters yes. come flying and blood among men. So the word was broken long before man come into fruition. Hallelujah. But there was a time and heart when the word was no longer just the word, but the word take on flesh. Hallelujah. And dwell among men. Oh, you do that. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. There was Hallelujah. over 400 references to altar in the Old Testament. Are you there, saints? I'm going to mess up your theology just a little bit. Amen. Amen. So that shows that there is a very significant, hallelujah, operation of altar in the Old Testament paradigm. Are you talking to me? Hallelujah. No, no. The altar, can I tell you the implication? Yes, no hallelujah. altar, no gratefulness, no gratitude. No I could just come out of the ark, a start creation, active the ram and start operated. But Noah was so grateful to God that even though God put a curse on the earth because of Adam and Eve sin, Noah decided I'm going to change the status quo of that. Let's get God to favor us and he can turn the curse into a blessing. Am I communicating? In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. 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 The Bible says Noah raised an altar unto the Lord. After Noah raised the altar, my Bible told me that God smelled a sweet smelling Savior coming up before him. Hallelujah. I am sure it was not just the oblation that stirred God. I am sure it was the disposition of his heart. He was grateful unto God. And God looked down and Noah sacrificed and changed his mind about giving the earth an everlasting curse. So God changed his mind and said, not only will I stop the curse, I will give you a rainbow as an emblem of my covenant. Hallelujah. Genesis 8, 20, Genesis 12, verse 7 to 8. Hallelujah. I can tell you numerous amount of biblical quotation that shows that God is a God of altars. Are you there? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Joshua 26 and verse 27, the Bible says, Let us now prepare to build ourselves an altar, not for burnt offering, nor for sacrifice, but that it may be a witness Hallelujah. between you and us and our generations after us. Amen. Altars have a lasting effect. Amen. And we can be from generation to generation. Hallelujah. Shall we continue? Amen. That we may perform the service of the Lord before Him with our burnt offering, with our sacrifices, and with our peace offering, that your descendant may not say to our descendant in time to come, you have no part in this land. Are you there? So they use altar to make a covenant between each each clan that were there, that even when they are dead and gone, this altar will continue to speak. Who am I a prophesying Amen. 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 Altar Amen. is a place of supernatural happening. Altar is a place Amen. of agreement. Altar Amen. is a place where divinity meets humanity. Whether it's good, whether it's evil or good, it's a place of transaction. It's a place Amen. of offering. It's a place of sacrifice. Are you Amen. there? Amen. 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 
And that's why when wishes are wizard, hallelujah, raise altar against children of God, they get the slap of their life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Fasting, Hallelujah. You're praying, but nothing is breaking. Your pastor friend pray until they half dead. Hallelujah. Call prophetess until her eyeball popping out. There is an altar. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I agree. Hallelujah. 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 I pray. I sit on the floor. I pray for you. Altar. It's causing you to be running. Altars is affecting your soul. Who did I come for? God said, I'm going to kill the priest on the altar. I'm going to the altar. I agree. I agree. I agree. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible spoke in the book of Numbers. Balaam raised. 21 altar. Can we go to the text just a little? So you come in with your half dead. Oh, pray for me. Bam! One lick. You better go find an altar and raise it on, in a hurry. Somebody say, I will raise it in a hurry. Oh, hallelujah. I will raise it in a hurry. Oh. Hallelujah. I look at the text with Balaam and the children of Israel. And I say, how come this man is so consistent altar number one altar number two altar number three are you there hallelujah amen amen when it reached seven altar bear i'm still looking for more amen. and all oh, he can curse the children of Israel. Jesus. So you need to stop this puny kind of walk with God. An altar was not, a diabolical altar was not designed to bring you success. It was designed to kill you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sometimes when we're praying, and the more we're praying, the altar of Balaam is a perfect example of all you can be praying, and somebody's still raising more, and raising more, and raising more. Are you ready to really be free from altars? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The Lord mm-hmm. said something to me. Let me hear all of you who are in cryptic battle on this line. At the battle. Amen. Of Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I can see them coming on my back, in my brain, in my side. Who are those among us? That is going to cryptic battle. Cryptic financial battle. Cryptic mental battle. There is an altar. That is speaking. I don't want to be long in my sermon. Because this sermon is very long. I want us to join faith together to scatter and bubble and shatter the altars. I agree in the name of Jesus. I agree. I agree. I agree. Do you know that altar can turn your no into yes? Amen. Amen. Do you know a man may want to marry you? And you said, man of God, I don't think that is what what God is leading me to. And he go and raise an altar on your head. Worse when you're a novice. Are you there? Are you not understand? Anything about altar, he will turn your no into yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is calling the church to deal with the altars. Hallelujah. The altars in the gates. The altars in the environment. The altars in the church. Amen. And all the interconnected realms. Hallelujah. Where altars are operating for our demise, for our destruction. Are you there? Let me give you the variation of the different type of altar and make it speedily so the man of God can pray. There are altars in high place. These are the most prevalent altars in different cultures where people go and 
to worship other gods. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God warned his people there was time about these altars, high places in Israel. Hallelujah. Where the altar was made was called Bama. They worship the God of Bama in the Canaanite culture. We are open ear meeting with swines, deities, elevated place. Places where they go pray to the conquest to get every kind of help from their gods. Canaanite gods and their shrines. Gods of fertility, deity such as Beol. Gods of Astaroth, Semitic gods and dioceses. Oh, the Bible mentions some of these. In the Bible, the ancient text, the son of Anak, the Ramsian. The terrible ones and the children of Anak and the Nephilim who were giants. So God is about to do something with us tonight. All kind of altars, ancient altars, altars of blood soaking devils, such as blood oath, blood vows. If you have a sickness and it defines medication, check the altar. Hallelujah. If you have a situation yeah. that you pray for 50 days, you join Dr. Uluku, you 70 days, you join my 50 days, and it's not moving, there is an altar in place. It doesn't Amen. mean that your prayers are not good. It means you need to challenge the prayer in the right place. You need to start dealing with the altars. The altars of your father's house like Gideon. The altar of your mother's house. The environmental altar, the geographical altars. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The religious altars, are you there? Hallelujah. We are here today because I believe somebody's going to get healing in their health. Because the altars are I'm not searching for a word to give you. God is not in heaven wondering what to do. This is what the just says the Lord. Hallelujah. The altar that is built to kill you before your time. Hallelujah. The infamous assassins that are operating from the blood altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are discovered tonight in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. So what you have now is a battle between altars. They have realized that you have not come into the understanding that altars are vicious and altars are violent. So they are challenging you with their altars. We made no apology for setting the standard in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's a time for peace and there's a time for war. Amen. And since you have prayed out all you need to pray, and there's one need for you to address this altar, we bring help here tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has sent us help from the sanctuary tonight. Hallelujah. 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 That mantle is going to merge with mantle for devastating effect. We have 20 Hallelujah. prayer points to pray tonight to demolish the altar that wants to kill you. The altar on your health, the altar on your brain, the altar on your finance, your Hallelujah. marriage, your ministry. The Hallelujah. altar that said this is how far you will go and you cannot go any further. I agree. God said, tell the altar practitioner, you're a liar. You're not my God. You're a liar. You're, you're a liar. liar. You're, you're not, not my God. God. Hallelujah. So how do we destroy this altar? 
Number one, you must be cognizant of the fact that there is indeed an altar in operation. Are you there, sir? No man or woman is allowed to challenge an altar unless you have Jesus Christ. Amen. And you have a lot of him. Or you are on the devil's side. Hallelujah. Jesus side. Hallelujah. If you go up against an altar that is fortified, that they are their magicians and their demigod and their priests, you will be the next meal for sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. To face this altar, you must have a stronger altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I agree in the name of Jesus. All you're facing is a counteraction. Altar versus altar. Are you there? Hallelujah. Who did I Hallelujah. come for this morning? Amen. 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 Who did I come for this evening, this night? Amen. 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 There is a contention in the realm of the spirit and its altar versus altar. And the stronger altar is going to take the winds. Amen. 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 How do you overcome the altar? Put Jesus in front of you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How do you overcome the altars? Draw the bloodline. The battle line is drawn. Amen. I agree in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How do you overcome the altar? Kick out all strange God and fortify yourself. Amen. I agree in the name of Jesus. Amen. How do you overcome the altar? Get ready to make your altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I agree in the name yeah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hannah, can you be a little bit more demystifying on all? Okay. Why are we not in the time of goats and cows and find a way to lay an altar, to challenge the altar that is challenging you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Many people attempt to just fast and pray and become a casualty of diabolical altar. Are you there? Mighty man of God. The Amen. Lord is doing something tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last biblical analogy. Oh, do you fight altar? Get right with God. Amen. Get right with God. And draw your sword. Amen. Tell God about his eternal love towards you. Hallelujah. Tell God he did not make you to become a beaten stick to diabolical altars. Amen. Tell God you're not trading him for the gods of the altar. So he must show up and display his power. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell God to take away the legal permission for in your life. Amen. I agree in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell God to write the new chapter of your life. Amen. Make it a promise that God, if you take away this altar, if you kill this altar priest, if you let this altar stop afflicting me, then God, you will be my God. Show yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. You've got to give God something to work with. Are you there? Amen. Amen. So we're going into our prayers now. Pastor Christian and his lovely wife and the prayer team, are you still there, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are passing a decree and a proclamation. I want to tell you this. Before we go into deliverance from this diabolical altar, if you are under the covering, the tutelage of a diabolical altar, don't pray the prayer then that we're going to pray because you're going to get acidic beaten. Before you pray, if you're under an altar, 
that you are sowing in, that you know is diabolic, renounce it now and ask the Lord to remove that altar legal right for applying a application from that diabolical for any form of application that it is applying to your life to the struggle you're going through so that you can be free are you there in the name of jesus can i give you five minutes to pray oh lord any if i have inadvertently connect myself to any diabolical altar god i renounce that Alter, in the name of Jesus, can you open your mouth and ask the Lord to forgive you so that when the men and the women of God start to pray for you tonight, hallelujah, we won't have any idol saying she belonged to me, she gave me the legal right, he gave me the legal right to operate, are you there please? Hallelujah. I divorce and I'm looking covenant with him. With that say, Pastor Christian and his team, the number one prayer point. Oh Lord. God of Elijah destroy the diabolical altars that is speaking against us, speaking against the people of God, speaking against the line of Judah prophetic ministry, speaking against all of us. I don't like Pastor Emmanuel to join too. We are breaking the altar. Amen. Amen. Can you go ahead, sir? Father, we thank you. We give you praise. What a mighty God we serve. We thank you for breaking every altar, walking against your children. We thank you for breaking every yoke, every power. We give you the blessing of the people of God. We thank you for breaking. We yoke. We thank you, Father. We give you break. Come on, come on. We thank you for destroying the altars. All signs of darkness. All signs of the kingdom of darkness. Walking again to the children. We call Shaka Basata. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We call second president here. In the name of Jesus. Every order walking against your life. Every yes, order walking against your destiny. We command the order to be destroyed. We command the order to be destroyed. Every yes, order yes, of the glory of God of the world. We decree the order to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. We seek liberty. We seek liberty. In we come back in the pool, the Kabata. We come against the altar. We come against the altar. The Koshaka Batata. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by the Koshaka. We come against the Wiat Kabata. By the Koshaka Batata. Every altar that has held you captive. Altar that has held you captive. We command the altar. to be destroyed. We <laughs> The blessing, every order in the middle of 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 the 
The next altar, the next person, Pastor Christian, give the mic to give the phone to the other prayer warrior. We are tearing down the altar of death and destruction and tragedy over the life of God's people. Can we pray, please? Every altar of destruction, altar of death, uh-huh.
get with the year 2024. He must scatter and butter. I will take that prayer. I will take that prayer. Just agree with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, my God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we go to the court of heaven. We ask that you will pull out the calendar of the year 2024. My Father and my Lord, every assignment, every timeline, every program, every initiation, everything spoken in the constellation, in the cosmos, in the galaxies, with the with the year 2024. Every altar, every covenant, I'm dead with the year 2024, God. We ask, Marco Boshadaba, that you will take out your original calendar. I agree, I agree. I agree. I agree. May null and void every diabolical calendar for those who are marked with death in the year 2024. We ask that the altars are you praying? Are you agreeing with me? Are you agreeing with me? The altars are the altars are the altars the next fire point pastor Emmanuel every satanic altar drinking our blood in the spirit eating our flesh we command the priest to fall and die and they must vomit out our flesh and vomit out our blood can you do it in the name of Yahshua hallelujah Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is not the Apostle Christian take the prayer point? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The three of you together, combine it. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Combine it, the three of you together, combine the Yeah. Blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I agree, I agree, yes, Lord. I agree, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I agree, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I agree, 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 I agree,
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. We need the next man of God to pray. Every altar that wants to use us as sacrifice, ritualistic sacrifice, we're asking the Lord any altar race to use us as sacrifice of a family member. Let that altar be set on fire. Can you hear me? Jesus. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Pastor Christian, send the other power. Can we keep it going? Keep it going. Keep it going. All right. Let us. Let us. Let us take it, saints. Prayer point number one, any altar that want to use me, a sacrifice, let that altar be set on fire. Can you open your mouth and pray? Come on, we come for war. If the prayer warrior them drop off line, we take up the prayer. This is the line of Judah, prophetic worship center. The next prayer point, any altar in the forest, any altar in the second heaven, any altar in the water, any altar under the earth, speaking against me by the power in the blood of Jesus, fire of God, It's a good thing when I come online, I come prepare. Come on. I drink the blood of Jesus. I swear the fire of the Holy Ghost. I drink the blood. The next prayer point, the next prayer point I'm going to pray, some of you will feel like you want to vomit, some of you will feel like you're going to drop, <laughs> drop it, drop there right there. If you feel 
like you want to throw up, throw up right there. Yeah. Can you say every satanic altar? Every, every satanic altar. Program in my body. Program in the body. To make me sing continuously. Are you praying, saints? Come on, man. We have a we have we have PowerPoint to pray. Every satanic altar. Program in my body. To make me sick continuously. To make me sick continuously. Oh God, I rise. Set the satanic altar on fire. Come on. If you pray very well, you'll feel like you want to go to the bathroom. Come on. Every satanic altar of untimely death and sickness. Every untimely death and sickness. Program in my body. To afflict me with sickness. Your time has come. Your time has come. Angels of fire. Locate the satanic altars. No. Locate it in my body. Let me give you. A, let me. Let me. Let me take you to another realm. Ever satanic altar. Ever satanic altar. in my internal organs. Trafficking demons and devils. You are not the plantation of my God. You are not the plantation of my God. Therefore, you are a stranger. Therefore, you are a stranger. Assassinating angel of God. Look at the high priest. Look at the high priest. The strong man. The idol and the my body. Kadosh. From the satanic altar. Are you praying? I'm seeing something. Somebody wanna gonna throw up. Listen, you gotta throw up this one. Satanic altars. Satanic altars. Sitting in my body. Sitting in my body. Programming sickness. Programming sickness. Incurable affliction.
every eye that is seeking my worship. That is program. Poison in the ear. Poison in my arm. Poison in my arm. Poison my arm. I enter into the covenant that the poison of the Lord, that the poison of the Lord, will swallow the poison of my enemies. Hallelujah! 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 Before we exit the line, if you have not known Jesus Christ as your Savior. Thank you so much for the invite, saints. Tonight is the night of salvation, and it's not negotiable. Hallelujah. Just say this loud and clear. Dear Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am a sinner, Lord. Can you forgive me of my sins? Can you cleanse me? Can you come into my heart and be my savior? Mm. Block my name out of the book of death. Engrave my name into the book of life and keep it there. If you have said that prior, that is the best decision you have ever made. Jesus will come and re-revolutionize your life. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's greater than a mother. And even if both matriarchal and patriarchal abandon you, the Lord said he will take you. Run to your Savior before time changes into eternity. I have a serious prayer point I want you to pray. Reptilian cancer! Amphibian cancer. Serpentine cancer. Crocodilian cancer. Come with the liquid fire of God. Come with the liquid fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Angelic army.
that defy his medication. So, oh God, arise! Oh God, arise! Reverse the rituals! Reverse the invocation. Reverse the invocation. Of cancer. Of cancer. Say the Lord of God, I fire back the arrow of cancer. I fire back the arrow of cancer. I <laughs> Hallelujah. The last prayer point. You spirit of cancer. You spirit of cancer. I bred spirit of cancer hiding in my body. Every hybrid spirit of cancer. Every bewitchment. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am not your candidate. I want to do a covenant with you, the Father of heaven and earth. The Father of heaven and earth. I want to go to your court of covenant. I ask for a covenant in blood against all kind of cancer. Against dead true cancer. Against stages of cancer. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. I believe that you're a covenant keeping God. I believe that I believe this will be a covenant that is irrevocable. That there will be no physical cancer or spiritual cancer in me, my children, my children, my children, my children, my children, Far exceedingly above beyond what I can imagine. I agree. I And I feel this fire with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Keep the fire burning. Invite someone else tomorrow. We are going to do dig deep tomorrow.
Uh, all the prayer warriors is ready here. I know the time is late because they're six hours ahead of us. So I hope that we can really do a serious prayer tomorrow. Thanks. God bless you unto them. Hallelujah. The Lord shalom over you. Shalom. Good night. Amen. Shalom. Good night.